Yo, what's up guys? This is Alex Rome and today I'm going to pick up on this project that I was working on yesterday. The chords. Those beautiful things sound like this. And then the vocal chops sound like this. We have a bass line in here too. Let's keep rolling here. Um, it needs another melody that I could throw around. So, uh, arrangement's not really my like, best friend at this point. My best friend right now, my best method right now, here's what we're gonna do, okay? So I'm just gonna be throwing shit down that I could re rearrange to like. So like, for instance, I have baseline one, So that's gonna be my like for my light bass line, uh, for places that aren't gonna have like a like one of them, you know what I mean? So like, you know, what I might do in this video is say like, okay, well let's try something like this. Oh or let's, you know, keep it like this and then fucking not even use that one and give us a bridge like that. So the song I'm actually referencing, Max Bear this song right here, um, the most beautiful song in the world. I've been listening to it the day since the day it came out, every year consistently. So like four years now, I've been best friends with this song, man. Its bridge is this size, its verse is this size, and its intro is this size, and then the drop would start over here. So. I'm going to see if I could do this layout. Uh, only thing I won't be able to do is if I do this. If I do this layout is use this bass line because technically that would come in here and this section is too short for that bass line because it's like so big and bulky. So what I did is I went with like, you know, more a little bit more of a boring bass line here. I'm going to see if I can't use a heavier bass line, but um, things like that matter, you know, if I go too heavy on the bass line, what that song did really well was kind of build up and not really use a bass line until it dropped the beat. So, um, also I wanted to come up with a really cool, compelling melody. I'm thinking lines of the broken st style, uh, style sound when line, if you guys know San Holo and Drulu lines of the broken, they start off with like that music box. Not rehearsed, by the way, so give me a second to come up with something sick here. Alright, let me get in the mood. Oh, listen to that one. <laughs> Yo. Jamison. Oh my god, I found I, I know a song almost called that, but like the the uh the title of the song is like called something like very similar to this. And now I know where it's from because it was using one of those little guitars.
let's see. Alright, so this would be Speaking of Kalimbos, wait yo. Check this shit. <laughs> it's a Kalimba. I bought a Kalimba. Cause I've been seeing the word ever since I started making music. I've been seeing the word Kalimba. So I was like, okay, I need to buy one. Yeah, I wish. Ding 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 ding. I'm not really, I don't know if I'm feeling this kalimba. I, I know better kalimbas are out there. You know, what do we got in here? So, one of my goals right now is figure out if I can make this like a little bit thinner for, you know, just this part right here, maybe. 
make it like a little I would say like pluck or something something very light so these are cool and all but I don't know if I want them I don't know if I want the song to start because they're very powerful <laughs> Like, <laughs> oh shit, I actually, I had these as my backup for a bass, so maybe we'll just go clear, see what this sounds like. So maybe I could do it like this. Since this comes in hot, this comes in like a barrel of energy, man. But then we got this. That kind of fights it when it, they come together. Here's why. Because they both like they're both hitting a lot of notes, you know? So what I want to do is figure out a way I can combine melody one and melody two without any fights. So what I'm gonna do is keep it simple for now. Very simple and then we can kinda capitalize on it later. I love this when we get like this far because then what I could do is I have to figure this melody out. This is like tough. It's tough one. Melody number two. Let's go ahead and open up this. 
real quick. Real quick. Wah, 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 wah. So, like, I'm thinking of the lines of the broken melody as I'm um, doing this. Saying to myself, okay. Well, the counter melody that comes in after melody number one and lines of the broken actually, you know, is a lot simpler than what I got going on. Take something like that. Let's go ahead, cable guys, this bitch. See, like, something like this could totally be doable. And then, you know, you pull something like this off where we add some panning to it. Make it a little less aggressive. You know, we could start out some something light like this. So when everything comes in, it gets a little hot. So I'm thinking if we can kind of hint these. Right here. Oh yeah, you guys, you guys didn't know about this layer. Layer fucking hurts. This is tough. It's a tough one. Maybe that actually sounds kind of cool. And then we could take this, do like a nice little reverse reverb trick. Hey, like this will like get us, get us into it, you know. All right, there we go. Let's open up some Valhalla Vintage for this reverse reverb because it's very reliable when it comes to something like this, you know what I mean? So let's pull 
let's pull this off like this we're gonna right click bounce in place right click bounce in place right click bounce in place there we go bada bing baby I'm gonna turn that off double click this bad boy if you want to know how to reverse something you double click it go to file functions reverse and right there we just basically build ourselves an instrument like that um, that's why I like vintage Valhalla verb because it builds these like it builds these wild instruments See, like right here, I would just take, honestly, I was going to use it to lead up into that, but that's very aggressive. Oh, well, yeah, no, 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 you know what I got to do? I got to take this and I'll get into the main room right there. And so with these ones, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take everything and start it from here but I really don't want you to hear like anything so I'm gonna like cut them off oh we're off time so let's put it there and hit that Let's grab this. Oh yeah, one of my men in my private lessons, one of my guys in my private lessons, he said, yeah, make yourself a region. <laughs> Shout out, Trevor. <laughs> um, I teach a kid, he said, because like when you make automation on summing tracks, it's really hard to duplicate it. So what you do is you just put a blank region there and you can just duplicate the region or move the region at any time you want to move around your automation or duplicate it like where the hell was I I should have figured that out a long time ago but I never did Yeah, and see right there, you wouldn't even do that. Is someone calling me right now? <laughs> Let's take this out because we don't actually need that because now we have this. And if I really wanted to, I could just separate that baseline. Uh, but basically, yeah, I want something to come in here. I have this, um, but what I want to do is I want something that can like, who is calling me Jesus Christmas? All right, there we go. Muted. <laughs> Let's hear what we got again.
because these are heavy. Anytime you have bass and melody in the same area is a heavy section of a song. And then right here, I'm going to start the bridge where I wanted to kind of like silence out and get really intimate. And so I'm going to think about something to do here. I'm probably going to mess around with this too, like off camera, this section here. Because I want this to be perfect, but then again, like, I'm not really shooting for perfect yet. I'm shooting for finish, the so finish writing the song, and then we could be perfectionist about it if we want. So, that's where I'm at, guys. See you next video. Check out alexromsound.com. I didn't actually plug my website. Whole video went by. I didn't plug it once. Whatever. I love you guys. Peace out.